Hi, so let's today start with Hybridity Part 3. In the Part 1, we have completed our Hybridity Configuration. In the Part 2, we have completed our Link Group Monitoring. Now, in this video, we'll look at the Path Monitor. Why we would require to monitor the path or destination IP address? Why we are not achieving it through the link? We can achieve the failover with the help of link or interface. But by default, Palo Alto, Inter, uh, Palo Alto Firewall only monitor its directly connected interface. What if the link between the router and switch will go down? How Palo Alto Firewall know the failover or failover of the link? So for that, you have to choose the path monitoring, path group. Is it clear? Okay. Guys, do one thing. Just shut down the ISP A router FA0 slash 0 interface and we'll see the result. Okay. Perfect. Done. Okay. Go to the uh, firewall. Right. And look at the status of all interfaces. Right. LAN, WAN, all up. And the status is still showing down. Correct? Okay. Now go to the your endpoint and just try to ping your destination IP, internet IP 8.8.8.8. No response. Why it is not, uh, why we do not have any response from 8.8.8? I will tell you the reason. Palo Alto Firewall still sending traffic towards the ISP A because. Palo Alto Firewall not yet aware about the failure of router 1 interface. So, with the help of path monitor, we will achieve it. So, what we will do in the path monitor? We will monitor the next stop IP address 100.64.8.2. If this IP address is not reachable from the firewall, firewall will trigger the failover. Trigger the failover. Prasad, have one doubt. Interface are up, LAN and WAN, right? But my path down, so what will happen? Of course, firewall will trigger the failover. There is a no condition between the link monitor and the path monitor. Inside the link monitor, you can have a condition between the two groups. But there is a no any or or condition between the link monitor and the path monitor. Of course, we should not have that. Let's go and configure the path monitor. So, can I uh, monitor the multiple path? Yes, you can monitor the multiple path. First, you have to monitor your next stop. And then if you want, you can monitor the service provider DNS server. Is it clear? Okay. Perfect. So, go to the firewall, go to the device, under device, hybrid, and below hybrid, you can see the path monitor. And in the path monitor, we have uh, many options, guys, many options. One is your add virtual wire path, add VLAN path, and add virtual router path. So, we'll click on the add virtual router path. Add virtual wire path. If your firewall configured, so your firewall interface configure in virtual wire type or virtual wire mode. VLAN means VLAN, right? Virtual router path. And here you can add, right? Name, default virtual router, then enable failure condition any, not all, and destination address. Next, hop. Address add destination 100 dot 84 dot 100 dot 84 dot no 100 dot 64 dot 8 dot 2. Okay, okay, click on okay and commit the conversion. Do one thing, guys. Uh, let's no shut D. R1 FA0 interface. 
so that we will get a response right okay so what the condition right we have a one destination ip group group means we can define the multiple ip addresses currently i have configured only one ip address which is my next stop address and condition is a any condition means any of the ip address if not reachable go ahead and fill over the firewall okay and commit the configuration yep commit successful okay now go to the dashboard <clears throat> still my firewall one is a active and firewall two is a passive go to the command prompt right okay see i can able to ping the 8.8.8.8 from my machine okay and now here is your command show high ability path monitor yeah see here we are monitoring the path 100.64.8.2 it is reachable right it is reachable okay now do one thing let's shut down the router 1 fa0/0 interface having ip address 1648.2 as soon as you shut down the interface what will happen ping to this interface will down okay perfect let me see what is the status of the path failover path monitor shut down the interface have you shut down the interface yeah see now right not applicable why because you are not getting any response from the next stop ip address okay or we are this ip address we are using to monitor the our path go to the firewall and just refresh the screen see now the status is non function in bracket path down in the previous video it is showing non functional but link down now we are monitoring link down link as well as path it is clearly mentioned okay this failover happened and this palo alto firewall one is in the non functional state because of the path down because of the path down okay is it clear now go to the go to your end point right and try to ping 8.8.8.8 okay i will tell you what, what is the reason why we are not able to ping it because what happen firewall 2 is now my active firewall however on firewall 2 Still, my default route is pointing towards the ISP A. Why? Because that having the metric ten, right? So, because of the default route pointing towards the ISP A, firewall sending and internet traffic towards the ISP A. So, to achieve the high ability, we have to monitor. your default route as well right because what happen default route is pointing towards the ethernet 1/1 and next stop ip address 100.64.8.1 this interface is up so firewall will not uninstall the primary default route having a metric 10 in that case you have to monitor your default route as well then only failover will occur okay i can show you although it's not a part of high ability but i can show it to you one more thing this is the passive firewall and it's now become a active firewall what will happen here my firewall 1 is currently is in the is in the non functional state if i go and monitor the next hop ip address to my uh, for my default route what will happen firewall 2 will also go down so what will happen it will not change its status still it will be a passive why because active firewall the firewall 1 is in the path non functional state so it cannot trigger the failure on the firewall is in the non functional state is it clear so that something we cannot now if you want to see the static route monitoring you can refer my other youtube video perfect okay now 
here we have on, uh, only initiate the ping for 100.64.8.2 but what what if if my northbound link towards the service provider is down or maybe there is some issue with my service provider and in that case what we will do we will monitor the ip dns ip address of the uh, isp or isp dns ip address okay let's go and no shut the fa0 slash 0 okay as soon as you no shut router interface is with a zero what will happen your firewall will again able to ping the or ping the next top ip address mm -hmm. 100.64.8.2 oh okay 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 my bad my bad what what will happen wait wait for sometimes just click yeah see here it's still passive right once your firewall one will become active then only it will start pinging the uh ip address mentioned in the path monitor okay so now it's uh passive it will take one minute of time right to be a active firewall Okay, mean the time, let's go and monitor the one more inter one more IP address, right? DNS, oh, oh, not here, just edit this and add the IP address, 8.8.8.8 and DNS. Perfect and commit the change. Okay. So, what I will do? <clears throat> I will shut down the router 1 interface connected to the service provider. Right. Let's shut down this interface. Wait. Wait, wait, guys. Pause. Perfect. So now go to the CLI and you can see we are monitoring the two path. One is 164.8.2, which is my next stop address, and we are monitoring as well 8.8.8, .8 which is our DNS IP address. Do one thing. Do you want to unreachable the DNS IP address? Okay, do one thing. Go to the service provider router. Let me go to service provider router one. And what I will do, I will Add route for 8.8.8, .8 right? 255.255.255.255 and null zero. So what will happen? Router will drop the traffic destination for 8.8.8. .8 Clear? Simple way, right? So now where 8.8.8 .8 is not reachable, by the way. Okay, go to your path monitor and see. See here. 8.8.8 .8 is not reachable go to the firewall one see again non-functional why because of the path down okay can you show me ping source interface my van interface source interface is my van interface and destination is 8.8.8.8 see not reachable the one more ip we are monitoring 8.2 this is also not reachable. Uh, have you resumed? Have you resumed it? Okay. Why? Because it's in non-functional state. My bad. Okay. No problem. Perfect, guys. So this is all about the uh, path monitoring. It's simple. You can monitor the multiple path, and uh, you can have any condition and all condition. But there's a no condition between the link monitor and the path monitor. Inside the link monitor, you can create a multiple group and define the condition. Inside the path monitor, you can define the multiple path group and define the condition. But there is no condition between the link monitor and the path monitor. Is it clear? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.